So, I just wrote up a script for my vlogs. So, Sandy was born, there was a hospital at Kingston Road. Uh, parents' house is here. That's the half bricking album cover, which you've already been to. She performed here and here, John Snow Park, the Inco Arms. Uh, recording studios. Uh, David Denny and Sammy's brother had a flat in Fulham, Chipster Street. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so, so today we're going out to Sandy's birth location, Sandy's parents' house, Sandy's school and childhood homes. Right behind me is the Nelson Health Center, aka the Nelson Hospital. It was in this location on the 6th of January 1947 that Sandy Denny was born. Now she was uh, the oldest of two children. Uh, to parents, uh, Edna, and there's some other guy. Here, this is the Nelson Health Center, aka the Nelson Hospital. This is where Sandy Denny was born in 1947, on the 6th of January. Because, uh, when you look out uh, here, this is Wimbledon area. The family lived around in this area. Now, this is the original entrance to Nelson Hospital. As you can see here, the stone was laid in 1911 by Her Grace, the Duchess of Sutherland. And so, on the 7th of June, no, sorry, 7th of January, 1947, Sandy Dare and his parents came out here with a new bundle of joy. She already had like a brother who was a few years uh, older than her. Of being born in the UK in 1947. I mean, my father, he was born in a house. And so, I mean, I guess the people who lived in London were a lot more upper class than the people in Middlesbrough. Uh, this was also part of the original hospital. The, uh, so it's sort of memorials to people who died in World War I, the Great War. So this hospital was founded in 1900 by Dr. Frank D. left behind the hospital where Sandy was born. We're going to head to 53 Stanton Road in Wimbledon where Sandy and her brother lived uh, the early years of their life. Now there's been a bit of a dispute about where the Dannys used to live. Like some people say it was like 53 and others say oh, it was just like nearby. The thing was, there, there was actually a book that came out many years ago which had a photograph of Sandy and her brother uh, on the street on 53. So like, that proves all things. 53 Staten Road. This is the house where Sandy Denny uh, lived for a couple of years. Uh, some say the Denny's also had a property around the corner nearby. So we might as well go check that out uh, soon. And then also the, the Denny's, after living here for a while, they moved a bit down south to 9 Arthur Road, Wilmington, which is seen as famously on the half-bricking album by Fair. Street going up here and down there, that's Warple Road. I've read online that the Denny family may have had a property on this street somewhere, but nobody online knows what number the house was. So, it could be anywhere up here, it could be anywhere up over there. Uh, only a historian could tell about uh, that house in number 53. And I said to her, uh, are you the owner? And she's like, uh, no, she's a dog walker. And I said, well, can you tell the owners that the house was once owned by Sandy Danny's parents of uh, Fairpoint Convention? And she says to pass the deals on, but she never heard of Sandy and Danny. I mean, she was mature age, I mean, she could have been born in the 70s, but, you know, we need to get more people interested in Fairpoint Convention and Sandy Denny. I mean, like, when you draft the name Led Zeppelin for symbols, people's light bulbs get on, people know that album. So then you got to say, well, Battle of Evermore. And then they're like, yeah, yeah, I like that song. I said, well, you know that, that lady singing on it? That's Sandy Denny. See, every time I see a Christian science church, I can always think of James Hetfield. Now his parents both died of cancer because the Christian Science believe that you shouldn't get medical help, you just get the last God to heal you. This is a load of shit. That's something you don't see every day. I'll put him in the vlog. 
So right now I'm holding the album cover, well a photograph of Fair Point Conventions half bricking. The, the people at the front are standing down his parents, Edna and um, a Scotsman, I, I can't remember his name, but give it away. See, that's the St. Mary's Church right there. So we're on Arthur Road, and not far from around here, that's where Sandy Denny's parents is. Now this property here is 9A Elizabeth Street. Um, when you look into the Fairpoint Convention half bricking album, we got like a shorter, um, it's like half brick, half wood fence. So that's the original like wood fence as we go around uh, here to the house of uh, here. May 2017 and uh, so this is the Denny's family house number 9A uh, if I go across over here that's basically where uh, they had the album artwork for Fairpoint Convention but I can't get inside there because you know, it's private property um, yeah but I mean the thing is what outstands the album artwork is you can definitely see the church, the church is still there and that tree is still there but um, yeah I think I might have done that property up a bit since the Denny's moved. So if I actually go around to the back of this uh, parish church cemetery I can actually see into the property of Sandy Denny's parents house. Um, yeah, so, so the thing I like, when you see the Fairpoint Convention album, the band was probably right down there, and uh, yeah, and then the parents are at the front of the house over there. That's quite impressive though. When you see here, this is the back of the church, and then you look closely to the album cover, sorry that's too small. Uh, yeah, so basically like uh, where I'm standing right now, that's the Denny's backyard. And so then it's the big... So, if you have that Fairpoint Convention album half bricking, you best to come to Wilmington and see the church that's in the backdrop. You can still see the house, but it'll be all fenced off. It's just... So, Fairpoint Convention fan, do you want a bit of history? Come on down to 9A or B Arthur Road in Wilmington and see the house that's on the album cover. And you can also see the church in the back south. I've just left Wilmington. I'm going to head to... Coombs Girls School. This is where Sandy Denny uh, went to school in the 1950s. I'm not too sure if she went to if if that school was like like a combined like primary high school. That's what some of them in this country have, or she must have gone to a separate high school. You kind of think about. It. I mean, she would have started school uh, 1952. I mean, that's kindergarten. I think that the children start younger here because they start at three for like nursery and stuff, yeah, and preschool. Uh, yeah, so the thing was, it was a bit far out west because um, west from here is where Sandy played one of her first few gigs in the 1960s while she was working uh, as a nurse or as a training nurse in a hospital in um, like Fulham or somewhere. Just, yeah, somewhere south of London. Yeah. This school, Coombs Girls School and Sixth Form Centre from the 1950s till about the late 50s, if I can be right. And uh, she was a good student because after leaving high school at another school, uh, she was accepted into an arts college. Danny's school is back there, but uh, because of the current day situation with schools and stuff, you don't really want to be like, you know, down with the camera outside of schools because people just misunderstand you. I, uh, you, you kind of think these days, all of us are vloggers, what we do, I mean, we have to go through a lot of like hard stuff uh, to, to find things, you know? So, I mean, like, if you want to look online, that's pr pretty much the best place to look for photographs because I, I wouldn't really want to go into a school and just say, hey, I'm a fan of Sandy Denny. Uh, do you know much information about her? Because it's 